Hi everyone, it's Kathleen. I am here today to do a flip through of one of my scrappy journals. This one is reserved for Ashley. Ashley has been patiently waiting for an Edith Holden February journal for about a year. So in two more journals, I will be starting on those. So let's have a look at the journal first and then the ephemera. The ephemera consists of 18 different pieces of pre-made scrap bits that are made with vintage papers, digitals, oops, hand stitching and a lot of different items. So here we are. This is one of these scrappy journals that has a tie. The tie is made from different black and white fabrics that I have used as the slit slot binding system of my journal. That's the cover. Craft paper, old muslin, sewn all the way around, layered with various Handmade papers, fabrics, old trims, laces, hand stitching throughout, on top, overlaid, and I, I love stitching, so I keep incorporating them in my journals, in these scrappy journals. Love the scrunch pages, love how they sound. They're inked with sepia archival ink to make them look a little bit aged. So, to start... Let's open up and there are, it's my slit slot binding system and it's actually consists of, would I call it two signatures? Probably. So I will be explaining how to make this signature when I do my Roxy's Journal of Stitchery and we will be working with that, but on to Ashley's journal. The first page is a multi-layered. I start off with my fabric, slot hinge or slit. Yeah, no, this one's a slit, a slit hinge. And I have a craft paper, bag, old fabrics, old laces, and I have stitched for just for purely for aesthetics. We have a library card and this time I have stitched on that library card. Pearl cotton or embroidery floss. Love the various layers as we progress out. I alternated white with black hinges and various papers are used. That's why I call them scrappy journals. Little bits of papers or laces and or laces added onto the hinge to make the page larger. Hand stitched drawing art. It's made with a fine line applicator that has black paint, white paint, and then I've used different colors of gelatos. So I've hand drawn those on old book pages. All the edges of my pages are inked with sepia ink. And again, I mix them, mix up my papers and stagger them outwards. Black and white, white and black, Tim Holtz papers, multi various torn ripped laces and trims. And I try to incorporate red and orange different stitches on the book. I love the backing of stitches, torn pages, multi layered, scrappy craft page that's scrunched and then inked and hand stitched along the edge. Tim Holtz papers made a flip and you can see I have machine stitching to extend the papers outward and this is fo papers folded back to make a little flap. Different fabric and old cheesecloths with different loose French knots. I love the white and the black, the alternating hinges multi-layered book pages, typewriter paper that's a digital, craft paper, 
using up the labels that I have in here that are already pre-printed. I'm just sticking them in whenever I can. And multi-layers of fabrics and stitching. Beautiful shades of oranges, corals, peach. Different layers just added on to progress. Whoops. Backing, couple layers, or couple labels, and some handmade washi tape. Multi layers of the craft paper, taffeta, organza, different old laces, and then I've stitched, hand stitched all the way around. And some handmade paper in the back as well with craft paper. Love the layering. Sometimes I've stitched on by hand the layers of paper, other times it's machine stitched. These scrappy journals will have two black pages in them. It's old book page that's been inked, backed with a coffee dyed fabric, and black gesso. And because it has the fabric on the back, I'm able to stitch over it. If I was just to stitch this close on paper, it would all be perforated. So I have one, two, three, white, black, or black, white, black, alternating squares, hand stitched on and a hand, hand drawn and stitched flower. Again, multi-layering the pages as I go. Sketching paper and that has been torn out of the book because of the coils, has been double stitched to create a pocket. And I did the lazy daisy stitch and just tied the ends at the tip, just purely for decoration. Mul alternating the slit slot hinge system, more Tim Holtz papers, layering, beautiful layers of fabrics, just one on top of the other, stitched together, they're hand stitched together, and then they're decorated with additional embroidery stitches on top. Multi different coffee dye, tea dyed white, off white, tea bags, old vintage pages, black and white fabric, the craft page, beautiful stitching on the side. I love the way you can see the progression of the pages through each. Every time you turn a page, it just looks different. It's a different art presentation. Love this turkey work. I'll be showing how to do that in my, in the uh, stitchery, st stitching project coming up, Treasure Hunt of Stitches, that I will be doing following along with Roxy's Journal of Stitchery, Treasure Hunt. Mine is Treasure Hunt of Stitches. I'll be showing different stitches on different pieces. and showing you how to do that. Multi-layers, Tim Holtz paper, the sheet music. Love the stitching from behind in that honey-colored crocheted bit. White and black opposite fabrics. Multi-layered pieces. I laid one on top, staggering back and forth. Uh, digital craft paper. Paper doily. Different book pages and the digital. Multi-layers of different handmade papers old trims, old laces that are torn and hand stitched. Lots and lots of hand stitching. Love the way it looks at the back, at the back with the stitching. This is the center of the slit slot binding system. So I've inserted two, uh, two, two slits and then all these slots are, are attached to it. So we have the multi layers going out the craft paper, heavy watercolor paper, book page, and another one of my hand-drawn hydrangeas. And I've used a fine line applicator with white and black paint. Original artwork, inked edges, multi-layers. Piano roll paper on craft always for me to make a page and Tim Holtz paper. Multi, multi-layers of different fabrics, trims, and papers in here as well. Hand-stitched and then decoratively stitched with embroidery floss. Again, opposite hinges, colors with fabric. Tim Holtz paper, that lovely turkey work with some old vintage cotton trim and 
just love how this adds texture, layers, and because I anchor my turkey work, I can pull, 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 and these do not come out. Orange and red. Beautiful. Love how you see the layers of the paper and the stitching on top of the multi-layered fabrics. Tim Holtz paper, old torn cotton trim, lovely lazy daisy stitch, bright red, and love the corals and the peaches alongside it. And it just adds so much texture. The different fabrics feel so nice. The Battenberg, it's almost a fluffy trim. Papers, layered papers, sewn outwards and stitched on. Beautiful vintage trim that's so easily torn because it's so delicate. Multi layers of pa fabric, paper and trim going out and just love how this feels with the stitching and the crumpled craft paper. Another one of my signature pieces that I'll be including in my scrappy journals attached to the hinge with craft paper, the old book page, black gesso, and three layers of black and white fabric that have been stitched on with decorative stitching for you to draw and stitch on as well or write with a gel pen, whatever you like. This paper, love how it's folded and multi-layered with papers, uh, fabrics, trims, music paper, and that turkey work. Just love how that looks. And on the back, we can even open it up this way. Tim Holtz book page. You can stick tags in here. It's a little pocket. I pleated black and white fabric on an angle, straddled it over the page, and just laced it all the way through with colored red and orange embroidery floss. Another crunched, beautiful craft page with different embroidery stitches along the edge, and a multi layered page going out. Love using sheet music and the Tim Holtz paper, the crocheted bit that I cut off, and I love how it looks like old smocking from days gone by, and I've used different embroidery threads to color, and we see the back side, the multi-layered page that is papers and digitals laid on top of each other and stitched all the way around, and a back page of music, paper, music staffs, and the straddle piece of craft paper, old book page, dry embossed wrapping paper, and stamped and inked. And it can hold something because it's a little tall, narrow pocket. And this is the back cover. So to close it, we just close like this. I have stitched this cotton wrap onto the back. And then I just bring this wrap forward, around and around, and bringing it down. So that is Ashley's Scrappy Journal. Sorry, I held it too high. And now on to the different ephemera pieces, 18 in total. That they, I have shown these before. They're slightly different because of the, just the different papers, but it's multi-layered papers labels, flowers that have been outlined with a marker, front and back. Papers that have been folded irregularly, old book page, craft paper bag, and a printable, multi-layered with my tag topper and sari silk, and double stitched for decoration on the sewing machine. Another paper embellishment. You can make it as a top tab or a side tab. Multi layers of paper, digitals that I have inked all the way around, labels butterfly. Put that on a page. 
bought tag with braille and old scrapbook paper, digital coffee dyed eyelet stuck in the hole and stitched across and around the papers. Another tag, I, but at this time I used one of those tiny pre-bought tags for a as part of the embellishment on the tag. So a piece of piano paper, just different layers in Tim Holtz papers, reversed and folded the tag irregularly at the top and did some machine stitching and hand stitching and outlined areas with the pen. A little booklet that I made using book pages, digitals, and book cloth. And I poked two holes through all the pages, inserted the sari silk, drawn around the edges. Love this stitching with that beautiful variegated pearl cotton. And multi layers tags this time i even went around the circle with a stitch with fabric or th sorry with stitching and different papers folded down and stitched on original ledger copy dyed paper original stickers these are older stickers so if they start to come off oh well it's a junk journal if you want to peel it off and re-glue it that's fine and the twisted chain stitch on an old ledger, old sticker, which is starting to come off again. When you have old stuff, they tend to, it tends to look irregular. That's the beauty of a junk journal. Vellum glued down with washi tape, torn page, seed stitch for decoration with variegated pearl cotton, embroidery floss, on a folded down page, the back half of the tag, and the back half of the book. Another cardstock, copy dyed, various layers of old book pages and craft papers with little bits of scrappy bits at the top, machine stitched on, and then embroidery floss with some X's. I bought these Tim Holtz playing cards that had well, they're the size of playing cards, maybe a little bit bigger, and they had the photo, photos of different people. But I just like the backs of the cards so much, I wanted to use them as a backing. And collage the front with fabric and paper, and made my safety pin tag topper along, attached with fabric. Love these pieces, just a, a triangle piece of paper that's inked, folded, back and forth, and then stitched all the way along. Multi-layers of old trims, different old fabric, old papers, digitals, vellums, papers, and fabrics, stamps, hand-stitched, digitals and originals. Multi-layers using up the bingo cards with the Tracy Fox labels in the back and just layers, fabric, paper, Tim Holtz photo booth. And I had this um, acetate to go over top. Love the different layers and underneath. I think that's so beautiful. Black dotted fabric. And it's just a plain at the back, plain heavy tag at the back. This is one of my favorite pieces that I made. It's using coffee dyed cardstock and a vintage farm implement invoice maybe and multi layers of, of digitals and original papers. M machine stitched across the top glued the tops and then hand stitched those. I just like the way it looks. It's just pretty to my eyes. Had one of these, I'm throwing it in here, old book page, multi-layered collage, a little bit of fabric straddling over the top and machine stitched all the way around. Love these tags made with old book page, printables, 
paintable wallpaper, the double layers across the top, the sari silk, just the layering, tearing, layering, and stitching. Another one of my favorite multi layers of scrappy bits of paper, labels, and flower cutouts, multi layers on the back as well. Love those. Another gorgeous page, craft, old fashioned advertisement bag that I'm tearing apart to use as paper embellishments, multi layered with printables and stitched. Love how those look. A fabric sampler made with a printable. Just love that. Tied together with twine and we have the various crocheted bits for you to either look at or display or use in your journals. Just multi-layers and the pieces of fabrics in the fabric swatches that I have used in the journal. Just love how that looks. Gorgeous. And the last one I did a, a tutorial on, my, it's, it's just a piece of ephemera. I just love how this looks. I love the old-fashioned document binding. Love the snippets, the digitals, the layers, the lace, the trim. Old cotton pieces that are used torn papers, old glossine bits of a bag, just gorgeous. So there we have it, Ashleen's, Ashleen's, dear gosh, <laughs> Ashley's set, Ashley's set of the scrappy journal and the embellishment pack. I hope you love this, Ashley, and I will be back soon with the last two of my scrappy journals. I'm going to bring them out. They are not reserved. These two, oops, maybe I, that's Ashley's. I am going to put these in my Etsy shop. Once they are done, the journals are done, I just have to do my fancy stitch embroidery stitching on some of the pages here so it's the same type of work except I've got to do a lot more stitching on them or I, I would like to do more stitching on them so these two are will be available in my shop once I have finished the stitching for them one is more coral orange and the other one is more deep red those two will be available. Thank you everyone for watching and 